Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and this is the first episode of Quick Look. Where I'll be doing a short little video about new products that I receive, unboxing them and my first impressions. So this I'm really excited about is the E3D Online Nozzle X, the king of all nozzles. Now we all know E3D for making awesome 3D printing products, nozzles, extruders, and this is their Nozzle X. It's been around for about a year now but I've just got my hands on one of them. And this is what it comes in. You have a little plastic bag and it comes with this little manual, which is pretty cool. I didn't actually know this, but the little dots on the outside of all the E3D nozzles correspond to their size, which is pretty cool. I had no idea. So this is a little chart of all the nozzle sizes, all the dots and what they correspond to is pretty cool. You also get in the bag a E3D online sticker, which is awesome. I'll put that on my workbench. Pretty cool. And of course, you get the Nozzle X itself, which is awesome. So this little guy, let me take it out of the box. I also got the uh, 0.4 millimeter version. Let me get that out of here. There we go. There it is. That little guy. So it's this really cool color because it's made out of tool steel alloy. It's super strong. And it's coated with a slick, a slick nickel plating. And it has their new uh, polyphobic nano coating, which is crazy. It's a super, super slick material. So the filament just slides right through it and filament actually is not supposed to stick to the nozzle itself. So say on your first layer or something, if, if the filament or plastic is, is curling up and touching the nozzle, it won't stick to the bottom of it, which is super cool. I also have a bunch of sizes for this. I got the 0.4 millimeter version, like I showed you before, and it costs about $30, which is expensive for one nozzle, but they actually have a limited wear warranty where if, if you make this thing wear, um, or if the, the circle nozzle um, becomes an oval or something wears inside of here, it will give you a brand new one for free, which is crazy. So pretty much uh, you'll never be getting a new nozzle after this one. So this also is really, really hard at high temperatures. So normally, like brass nozzles and other nozzles, they get soft at high temperatures, but this withstands those hot temperatures, and stays hard, and has an optimized flow path. So other nozzles that are supposed to be um, abrasive resistant uh, have like some uh, block at the, at the front of it that doesn't allow good flow. This has a, a really nice flow through the entire thing and creates nice prints apparently. So I can't wait to test this little guy out. So I actually have um, a bunch of printers, but I want to use it on my uh, Creality Ender 3, which has a MK8 extruder, which is not really compatible with these E3D nozzles. So I actually have an MK8 nozzle here as well, just to show you guys. We zoom in on that. Um, so you can see here that this is the Mark MK8. This is the E3D nozzle that this one on the left, the MK8, they, they both have the same threads it looks like, but the E3D one has more threads than the MK8 one, and uh, this one's a lot taller. So you do have to have a compatible extruder and heat block for these. So I have a genuine uh, E3D V6 hot end that I'm gonna use this little guy with. So I'll be installing that on my Ender 3 soon, which I cannot wait for. So once I uh, start printing with this little guy, make sure to post some prints on my Instagram and Twitter, which you should follow me there. I'll put the links in the description below. So I hope you guys like this little unboxing and first look at the E3D Nozzle X. Hopefully I'll be doing some more of these, so be on the lookout. Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you all in the next video.